You all might have already heard about SpaceX winning the contract for building first commercial human landing system for NASA's return to moon in 2024. So does this mean a starship is going to launch astronauts from Earth to moon? No. Four astronauts will be launched in Orion spacecraft, which will be mounted at the top of an SLS rocket. Okay, then where is the starship in all of this? For this, you might need to watch the video till the end. But first, we are Science Today, and your support by subscribing to the channel will be very much appreciated for growing our little scientific community. Now, SpaceX have won the contract for building just the landing system. It means a starship will be land landing astronauts from lunar outpost called Gateway to the surface of Moon. But then, why they can't just send a lunar starship direct to Moon? Because NASA's Artemis mission is planning for a sustainable presence in Moon's orbit. As of now, SpaceX is the only company capable of building the landing system. But if in near future, other participating companies are also able to build it, then they should also be able to dock it to the outpost, right? And at the same time, it will also be much easier to go to Mars from a lunar gateway than from the Earth. And hence, the gateway should be accessible for all. It is sort of like an international space station, but specifically designed just for Moon. Or you can also call it a Moon base. Remember, these announcements are coming shortly after the China Russia announced their plan for the separate Moon base. If you haven't seen the video, please check out the link in the description box or appearing at the top of your screen. Well, it could be just another coincidence, but I thought it was worth mentioning here. Now it is clear that Starship will not be carrying astronauts from Earth, but then how they will get at the Starship lander? As mentioned earlier, Lunar Starship will be attached to Lunar Outpost called Gateway, which will be orbiting the Moon. And the fun fact is, the contract to deliver the outpost part, including the power and propulsion element, or PPE, and habitation and logistic outpost, or HELO, is also awarded to SpaceX itself. So the first phase of our mission will be divided majorly between NASA and SpaceX alone. According to the contract, the PPE and HALO are targeted to launch together no earlier than May 2024. They will be launched on a Falcon Heavy rocket from a launch complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center. Okay, once they are launched into Moon's orbit, a starship will be sent from Earth, which then will be docking to the outpost. The actual docking mechanism is not yet confirmed by SpaceX, but we believe the docking will happen near the nozzle window, as you can see in the image released by NASA. Just for your reference, the Starship docking could be similar to that of Space Shuttle docking to ISS. In the image, we can also see that there will be an elevator-like mechanism coming out of the airlock. As the height of Starship is too long, it is not feasible for astronauts to climb all the way up to the top. And they also cannot have the Starship airlock at the bottom, as Raptor engines will be firing up the ship. And hence, they need an elevator. It is just like what we can imagine with an alien ship. Now, once everything is well in its place, NASA will prepare for its SLS launch, which will carry four astronauts to Gateway. And from there, two astronauts will travel to the lander for landing onto the moon's surface. Yes, this all is not less than a sci-fi movie. When SpaceX is done with their moon landing, they will have sufficient technological experience for landing on the Mars. Now we could definitely think that SpaceX could be the biggest space companies in near future. All that being said, Musk's trillionaire dream could become a reality sooner than we expected. So tell us in the comment section. What do you think about this brand new lunar starship concept? Also, what are your thoughts on Elon Musk's SpaceX beating the mighty competition in almost every space front? If you have enjoyed this video, you might enjoy our other videos too. So don't forget to click on the like button and check out our channel. If you like the content, your support by subscribing to the channel will be very much appreciated. With this, signing out for now. See you in the next one.